Good morning, guys. It's Rochelle from Monolink Furniture in kind of nice Sydney, but a little bit chilly. Hence, I'm still in my onesie PJs, Easter onesie PJs. Anyway, this is what we're looking at today. Let's see what we got. Right, so it's a little Queen Anne style um, bedside, side table, nightstand. This is what I think I'm going with at the moment. So I want to do a mix of these two. I love Hampton Olive. I do not love white. You all know that. That's nothing new. But I think the combination of these two will be lovely. This is going to be too dark for what I want here because I'm planning on putting this over top. It would work but I think it would work better if I was to lighten this up. So I think these two together are the way to go. Right, I've scuff sanded this all over, quite a smooth sanded the top really because to get rid of those marks and then I scuff sanded it. Um, the body has been scuff sanded, cleaned in white lightning and rinsed off. And I just wanted to show you, so these drawer pulls, generally I would take them off, but after unscrewing them, they're glued on to, so, I'm going to work with them in situ. I'm going to need to wait for this to dry before I can start, but my plan will be to paint it the same colour as the drawers, paint them the same colour as the drawers, and then I'll either dry brush over them or maybe use some gilding wax. We'll see. That's my plan. Right, let's get mixing. So we're going with Hampton Olive. I love, 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 love that. And salt water. So all I want to do really is lighten this up a little bit, lighten the Hampton Olive up a bit, just so it goes, it works well with the transfer. Okay, so as with all silk, uh, all in one paint, always give it a really good stir so that you're getting all of the components all the way through. So I'm probably going to be going to do a two to one with this. I'm not going to measure it, you know that. So the piece is really red and there is a risk of bleed through. When I've been cleaning though, there hasn't been any... Um, when I've wiped it, um, there's been no red come off it. So I'm quite confident that we'll be all right. Right, let's do this. Oh, look, that colour's beautiful. It's quite, um, it's quite a chilly day today. So I'm going to have a little bit of a longer work time than I usually do with silk in Australia. Obviously, it's usually, usually pretty warm, so we have a shorter work time than a lot of other parts of the world. But it's quite a cold, damp day today, so I've got a little bit more work time. So with silk, you just have to be mindful not to overwork it. That's when you'll create texture. So as it's starting to, to dry, don't go back to it. Wait for it to fully dry and then fix up anything you need to fix up on the next coat which is difficult for those who are used to using chalk paint, but it's just a different, a different mindset to get into. Once you're used to it, you're right and you'll love it. Especially if you're like me and you're a furniture flipper rather than a furniture artist. If you're not sure of the difference, check out Chris Dorner's um, YouTube channel. She was talking about that last week. It was really good. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you're a furniture flipper, then silk is fantastic. Really lovely. And because of the, because of the muted tones, that like the, it's classed as a, a Hamptons um, colour palette. So the colours on their own are really nice, but they, they mix together really well too. Like this. I don't mean like blending. Right, we're all painted. It's giving me a really nice sort of um, light sage colour. Really nice. 
Okay, now I need to figure out placements of this transfer. So I think I'm primarily gonna focus on the sides. Maybe try and wrap it around. Let's just have a look at what we've got first. So I'll show you what. So when you get these transfers, it shows you on the back um, the four, if it comes in four pieces, the, what the four pieces are. I'm not gonna do a full one. If these, these draw pulls came off, then that would have been amazing on the front. As they don't, trying to, oh, sorry, a car just screeched. Um, trying to work around those would just be impossible. So when you're cutting pieces out, keep, make sure you keep the backing sheet on. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put the bottom of the stalk right in that corner. Is that a stalk? And then I'm gonna have it overlap. I want it to come down here. It's important that you make sure it's, it's burnished properly. Now I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna push this underneath first. Right, so at the moment it's just stuck on. I haven't sliced it because it started to come away as I was about to slice it. So I'm gonna slice it now. It's just so easy to burnish these things. I'll show you close up. Bailey, what are you doing? There, so you can see the edges there. So I'm just gonna push those in with my finger, make sure they're burnished on. There's not much there. And I'm gonna do the same here. Just push them away. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to slice it. Here we are. So can you see there? Burnish it down, burnish it down. We are good. Oh, that's so pretty. me or is that gorgeous? So I'm pretty much done. I still need to seal this. Like I said, but this is silk, so silk doesn't need sealing, but these transfers do. So I'm gonna seal I'm gonna seal with um, clear wax. First of all, I want to do something to these, and all I'm going to do is dry brush with some fluff. Okay, gilding wax in gold. So this is the oil-based one. Look at it. That's proper gold. I'm not even gonna bother with the inside there. I'm just gonna work off 
what I've got on this lid. I'm just gonna dab it. Oh, it's so pigmented. Oh, look at that. I hope you can see, see the magic happening. <laughs> I'll show you how much I'm using, none. It's pretty much the answer. And I'm just hitting the high bits, which is pretty much what dry brushing does too. So if you use wax, then you're generally hitting the low bits because you wipe off the, the what you hit on the, the high bits. With this, you're hitting the high bits. That's stunning. Right, I'm gonna get photos of this before I seal it, before I put the wax on. Because this is gilding wax, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Um, so I'll probably, I'll, I'll wax the entire piece tomorrow, but I'll get photos of it now, because um, well, because I'm a bit excited too. Simple answer. Another project finished, and look, I even got out my PJs for this one today. Only because I had an appointment. She's beautiful. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're looking for the products, I'll list all the products actually in the description. Any questions, just put them in the comments. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>